So the PFCs were found in the water probably a year ago, January. We started getting letters from the water companies living down here that they found something called perfluorinate chemicals, known as PFCs in our water, about a year ago. So we've been so we found PFCs in our water 2016. And it was probably around January, February when the water company started sending letters warning people that they had elevated the risk of the PFCs and there was a concern. It finally came out in the news and they had public meetings. It was last summer, so June, July in 2016. The water fountains added to the school is a great addition. It's something that uh, many of us have talked about in AP Environmental Science, adding those water fountains. And the Environmental Club and Mr. Hoffman and the senior class took that under their wing and made that happen. It's great because now students will get cool or chilled, filtered water, and they aren't gonna be hopefully buying as many throwaway water bottles. So the water was switched over. By the end of the summer, all security in Whitefield and I believe Fountain Valley water had been switched over to water being pumped up here from Pueblo Reservoir. And so our water is no longer being pumped from the water wells in the ground that are contaminated with the PFCs. So any of our water that we have here in the school has already been diverted from the Pueblo, Pueblo Reservoir. How much do the water fountains cost? Uh, the water fountains probably cost 1200 and up because uh, Mr. Hoffman matched some funds with us, Senior Council had some funds, and then Environmental Club with Mr. Cummings also had some funds, and those three combined got us our water fountains. Filters, I believe, were like $80 a piece, and they're supposed to last like a few months each time, so those do have to be replaced constantly. Why did you decide to add this to our school? Uh, we decided to add the water fountains because unlike other senior gifts, ours had like functionality that would last throughout multiple years and it uh, helps conserving like plastic and reducing our trash. So by having a gift that lasts more than one year and helps the environment, we thought it was perfect. How did you feel when, our wa when you found out our water was contaminated? Uh, when we found out our water was contaminated, we thought it was kind of ironic because we were like, I'm in the environmental class, so we were just studying stuff like pollution and it seemed weird that something like that that we learn all the time could be so close to home. So we were kind of shocked and then went over kind of like what Peterson did and like how they were going to fix that, but yeah, it was kind of crazy. What do you, how do you feel with the new addition with the water fountains? I feel like it's a really good step towards our school, towards like the kind of conserving uh, attitude and the environmental attitude that's kind of like taken over the younger generations and stuff and I think it'll help uh, other classes who, that will come to Whitefield also have that idea of trying to conserve and reduce our uh, like carbon footprint and things like that. Why do you think this was a good idea to do? I think it was a good idea because it shows like how our class is kind of progressive and trying to think towards the future including like sustainability and kind of away from just gifts that work now but kind of lose their uh, functionality later on. Yeah, good morning. My name is Aaron Hoffman. I have the distinct privilege of being the principal here at Whitefield High School. Um, I'm excited to talk to you a little bit about the uh, new drinking fountains that we got, the bottle filling stations. Uh, very cool, uh, very cool initiative that we're uh, that we're doing. And so, yeah, I'd be happy to answer some questions about that. Okay. How much is the new water fountain? Oh, sure. The, the new water fountains uh, were fairly expensive, um, so the, the cost of the water fountains for the full, the full units, uh, where we had to buy a new water fountain as well as the bottle filling station, was about $1,000. Uh, and then for the ones that we were able to just put bottle fill stations on top of it, those were about $500 a piece. 
So we bought uh, one full unit and two other uh, units where we put the uh, where we put the bottle filling stations on top of it. So probably more more expensive and more importantly is the filters that go along with them. Um, you know they uh, they have a, they only are good for a certain number of gallons that we can uh, that we can fill through them. So it's why it's really important for us to use them. Uh, you know very conscientiously and making sure that we're doing making good decisions when we're using those things because the filters will wear out and the filters are about a hundred dollars a piece to re to, to change the filters. How often do the filters need to be replaced? Yeah, I, I, there's a certain standard. I think it's 3,000 gallons that it goes through, or 3,000 bottle fills. There's there's an indicator light on the uh, on the the unit itself, and so the light should be green when the filters are fine. Uh, as the light turns yellow and then to red, it gives us an indication that we need to change the filters. So uh, there's some pre uh, predisposed number of, of of bottle fills and gallons that it that it will uh, that it will go through, and then we have to change the filters after. Who came up with the idea to add the new water fountain? Yeah. I was very excited. Uh, so the, the, the group that came up with the idea to add the water fountains, um, Senior Council, uh, Mr. Baldwin and Senior Council came to me and they asked me about the potential of putting in bottle fill stations and we've been talking about it for a couple of years now with Environmental Club and with um, you know some different different organizations here in the school. So uh, when they came to me and said we want to do this as part of our senior gift, I thought that was a fantastic thing. So um, Senior Council and the Environmental Club and the admin team were the ones that put in for uh, uh, to, to, to purchase the machines. Why did you guys decide to add these to the school? Yeah, so we uh, the reason we decided to add them to the school is you know there are lots of different things you know trying to uh, be conscientious of our environmental footprint and our um, carbon footprint here and uh, you know in, in in our country it's everybody's responsibility to do their part and you know the plastic bottles and especially the plastic bottle caps are some of the least uh, recyclable materials that we have. So Miss um, Carmody and her classes, uh, her apes classes have done a great job of educating me on some of the, uh, the, the limitations of being able to recycle those. So uh, once I saw, you know, all of the all of the amount of waste that our country comes up with, we figured it would be great for us to do our part and see what we could do to minimize our footprint here at Whitefield High School. You guys were part of the admin team, so how did you guys raise the money? So for um, for the senior council and for the environmental club, the way that they raised the money for it is they they did fundraisers and they did different things for that. Um, I used part of our building budget for that, so I'm able to uh, able to use different portions of our general budget to be able to do different things for the school, and that was one of the things that I thought was worthwhile uh, that I wanted to spend some money for and uh, and make sure that we uh, that, that we got a good product for our students to use. Well, I'm Mr. Dobler, and I'm the maintenance supervisor here at Whitefield High School. So, how long did it, it take you to put in the new water balance? Four solid days. What were the, some of your problems? Did you have any problems putting them in? Yeah, we did. Uh, when you're dealing with 60-year-old plumbing with a newer type unit, we ran into a, quite a few problems, my maintenance staff and I, so it, it, it was a challenge. Now, the water... Uh, the Filters need to replace. So, how often do you need to replace those new filters? The filters we're using now are 3,000 gallon filters, so we won't know our longevity until we start using them for a while. So, right now, 3,000 gallons, and it'll let us know. Okay. So, what are some of the problems that you guys have with it? Like with the kids, I hear that you have problems with the kids not using them right. What are some of the problems? Our biggest issue with the students using them so far are just understanding don't overfill your bottle. The machine will run for 20 seconds once you put the bottle there or until you move it away. So we've had some spills and overflows, but that's really been it with the students. Okay, so why did they think that it was important to do this here? Trying to save water bottles, uh, a better product for the students with it being filtered water. Uh, so the students getting a better quality water, a cold water where they can put their bottles in and not have to find a filling it from a mouthpiece. So just an overall better experience for the students when they use them. And do you think the students, like, they can compromise with that change? Do you think that they accept it here, that they like it? We think so by the bottle counts. We're getting good counts on them right now. And the students and the staff seem to really appreciate having those on uh, the campus right now. Do you think that it's, like, environmentally friendly? Or, because I heard that the environmental club also came up with this idea. So do you think that it was environmentally friendly? I think so. When you look at the counters for as many bottles that the machines say we're saving if a student uses their own uh, cup or whatever they decide to bring in, we're not adding that to the landfills. 
and stuff like that. So overall, yes, I, I believe it's helping the environment. Do you know how uh, big the water bottles, like, like the, are there standard size, like the normal plastic water bottles you can buy in a Walmart? Or like, are they uh, saving it to a specific size? The machines right now, they run on a count of 20 seconds. So as long as you have your water bottle, regardless of the size, in front of the sensor, they'll run. And as soon as you move the bottle, they will pull away. But we've seen in 20 seconds, we haven't found a water bottle that we can't fill up yet.